Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make super psychedelic, trippy kind of melodies. Just soundscapes that have a bunch of cool layers that kind of morph into each other. I'm going to basically break down the Enviral Secret Sauce. But yeah, before we get started, as always, you know, make sure to go follow me on social media at Enviral. But let's lock in. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to break down this melody right here. <laughs> It's a really weird melody. It feels kind of psychedelic to me because there's a lot of cool effects and the layers all feel intertwined. Like it's a, it's a really nice blend of sound. This was one of those melodies where it just kind of happened. Like I wasn't even thinking about anything. I just named it Guidance. It feels like someone was guiding me making this, you know? You know, I feel like melodies are always there. You just got to kind of listen for them and, you know, lock in and, and then you'll go crazy. So I first started with this chord progression with a pluck from Serum. Sounds like this. Uh, so it sounds complicated, but it's pretty simple. The chords are basically D flat major and then B flat minor. I just have it, I just have it kind of arpeggiated to create a really cool soundscape. Next, I put that in the mixer and I have mainly halftime on there to just slow it down. Some Valhalla and then some Echo Boy to add a little delay. And this is what you get after. It's a really trippy kind of melody. So this is a cool atmospheric layer. You know, I, I feel like starting with layers that are kind of atmospheric is cool because then you can build on top of it instead of starting with a really harsh layer. So next I took the serum melody and copied it into these one shot mallets from a kit that I'm working on. And uh, this is what it sounds like. As you can see, it doesn't sound that good on its own. That's why I made it super quiet and just blended it in with the serum layer. This is what it sounds like after. really think about it that every sound you put has to have like some sort of purpose in this case the mallets were just to make it more bouncy add a little attack so, you know the serum is a cool kind of atmospheric layer but but the mallets add a really cool sprinkle texture so next we needed a pad so i went into citrus and got this pad called now Tilius. citrus is actually hell of fire and this is what it sounds like and then with the rest of it To be able to correctly use pads, you gotta make the notes really far apart so it doesn't sound muddy. You can play a D flat major like this. That's the root position, but it doesn't sound that good because it's muddy, so I just usually move the third up an octave so you get this. That's called an open voicing, and what that does is basically let the notes kind of breathe better. It adds a really cool atmosphere instead of being kind of cluttered. Next, one of the coolest layers in this melody is this lead from Expand, and it's called Liquid Sky. And this is what it sounds like. As you can see, every measure follows a staircase kind of pattern, and that's because you want to be consistent with your melodic ideas and rhythms. You know, you don't want it to be messy and all around the place. With the consistent kind of patterns and sequences, you can let the melody really tell a story instead of just being like undistinguishable and unrememberable. Also, it's important that at the end, you know, I brought it back up to a higher place to let it drop down here again, just to reset the measure, you know, make it loop back. If I didn't do this higher part over here, instead left it like this, 
it would just make the melody kind of unnatural it's like going on forever you know there's no stop to it instead you want to kind of think of certain notes as like a period you know to let the melody pause and restart and so next i have this other crazy section which i showed you guys and for the main instrument in here i use cs80 with, with this all with triangles preset As you can see, this preset does a lot of cool note slides on its own, so that's why I rendered it out to get more control of it. I basically added some chorus and then some Valhalla. Uh, next, I basically put that previous lead in a different patch and it sounds like this. So it's exactly the same pattern, but then what I did with the effect is basically put some gross beat gate on it. And then I put finisher micro, I think this is like a chorus effect. And then I just EQ'd it to be a really in the mids and put some wider, uh, some stereo separation. And this is basically a background texture and this is what it sounds like after. As you can see, you can barely hear it. It's so lastly, the final section of the melody has this cool arp that comes in. And basically for that, I used another instance of CS80 on this 70 sequence preset. As you can hear, it's just a one note arp that's playing actually F minor. F minor over here matches with my D flat major. So it creates like a seven chord. That's why that arpeggiation works. So I basically rendered it out and reversed it and this is what you get. And I have some automation. So yeah, automation is a really cool way to add more life. More life, shout out Drizzy. Cool way to add like breath to your track so they make stuff morph around. That's what makes it psychedelic. That's what makes it trippy. You don't want things to be static. You want everything to be move around, changing, you know, morphing into each other. Basically what I'm automating is this low pass. You know, just as simple as that. And then I just have the lead coming back in and over here. And then the mallets, you know, finishing off the melody. That's the most simple kind of part of the melody. And then you have all these layers, you know, going crazy. But yeah, that's pretty much the whole melody. As you can see, the rest of it is just some automation and stuff. As always, you know, try to have fun when you're making melodies. Try to tell a story with them, you know, really go crazy, experiment. But yeah, that's pretty much it from me for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, you know, subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.